Hello and welcome to Lumino. Today we're going to be going over the legend of the Chupacabra, which originated in Latin America in the mid-1990s. The Chupacabra first sighting occurred in August of 1995 in Puerto Rico. The next day, the newspaper covered the description the eyewitness provided, a bipedal creature that hopped like a kangaroo, four to five feet tall with spikes down its back, long thin arms and legs, an alien-like head with red eyes, and it completely reeked of sulfur. The chupacabra was known to be a bloodthirsty creature who consumed the blood of chickens, sheep, rabbits, and domestic animals, leaving behind uneaten carcasses drained of absolutely all their blood. The chupacabra murdered and drained hundreds of farm animals, earning its name, which translates in Spanish to the goat sucker. In Puerto Rico, 1995, their winter was known to be the center of chupacabra activity. At least a dozen reports of chupacabra attacks mounted quickly. In Arrocovis, Puerto Rico, farmers found eight sheep completely drained of their blood with circular puncture wounds. In Guanica, Puerto Rico, an individual claimed to have been grabbed from behind. After fighting off the creature, which was assumed to be the chupacabra, the victim needed treatment for scratches and cuts around his torso. Chickens and cows died near the attack soon thereafter of single wounds to the neck, drained of all their blood. Around that time, the livestock death numbers reached into the hundreds in several places of Puerto Rico. Later, several reports started appearing in many different regions such as Mexico, the US, and China, describing a mysterious creature that stood upright sucking the blood of livestock and resembled a large reptilian kangaroo with huge red eyes. In the U.S., Florida reported 69 chickens, goats, and ducks found dead, all with their blood drained, while other states also suffered subsequent attacks. In October of 1999, the Brasilines newspaper started reporting numerous sightings and incidents caused by the chupacabra. Eyewitnesses claimed to have seen a creature that may leap with powerful monkey-like hind legs, attacking both animals and humans. Other witnesses also claimed to have seen fangs on the creature. In every sighting reported, the creature appeared to kill as much livestock as possible. The newspaper kept readers informed on the latest chupacabra attacks or mysteriously missing livestock. Eight goats and three sheep dying of single wounds to the neck, with no chunks of meat taken. That was one of the last stories the Brasilines newspaper covered. In Calama, Chile, a considerably amount of livestock was found dead. Again, the chupacabra killed the livestock, drained the animals of blood, and left the meat behind, not consuming any parts of the body. Within days of the first reports, the attacks had become a media sensation, with headlines dominating the national press and a video of the slaughtered livestock playing every night on the local news. Calama's officers and the National Guard undertook a massive search of the area, hunting the chupacabra with hundreds of armed soldiers, only to have no luck in finding the chupacabra after searching for two whole months. Till this day, there are no photographs of the chupacabra, only hundreds of photos of the dead animals that all died in a similar way, drained of blood, as well as eyewitnesses from several different regions, all telling strikingly similar stories. Thank you for watching today's episode. If you liked the video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Until next time, thank you.